Great. So making these mistakes or finding, uh, you know, going through a series of, 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 of uh, being a serial entrepreneur and going through things where it was strategy and then fixing that and finding out maybe it was uh, the audience that didn't, or the product or an issue uh, with something else. So you've taken all of that and you've made it basically an area where you can help others uh, guide them towards greater success with their startups. So how did that ha- So how did it happen that you, well, how, you don't tell me the first one or the right. name of the company, but the first time was it by mistake or on purpose that you were helping somebody else with their startup? I mean, that's pretty interesting. It's pretty cool. It's a really cool business to help people kind of, you know, because that's, I love being in the middle of all other businesses and being around you, helping other people build their business uh, and also saving them from maybe in some cases disaster or or in some case, you know, cauterizing the wound. Sure. Um, how did you get from the, the, that series of businesses to the first time? And maybe it wasn't even a bit, you know, tell us about that. Well, it definitely wasn't uh, a strategic plan. So it wasn't like, I was like, well, that didn't work, but um, how can I, you know, best ser- <laughs> serve, you know, some purpose. How can I purpose? serve society, yeah. Just being out of the world and, and socializing and networking, and then also um, being hungry, you know, if. Your paycheck disappears and you got to pay bills uh, while you're searching if there's an opportunity to be a consultant or help somebody else or you know work with somebody else uh, you know i sort of had to jump on those things and there was a time where i was juggling three or four different companies that i was working with either they were my own right. or with partners um, or that i was consulting to and you know and to and so i sort of became um, that person by chance by necessity but also because i thought i really it so that, that helps out too. Right, right. And so that's a bad yeah. So the question so at the end of the day, so you're saying that you were consulting, but how did that first one happen? Did somebody ask you or you were you like just you I, you know, the way it happened is I basically went to my network and said, uh, I need I need something. Got it. So you, know, you, so you were know. hustling, so you went yeah, out and hustled and absolutely. said I need, I need to do something and then what came back was somebody who needed help. That's right. And return the way returnity happened is a friend of mine who He's done very well in his career and invested in the company and said, you know, when I was saying, hey, I'm trying to figure out what's next for me, and he said, I just invest in this company. I think you'd be a good fit for that. Well, and he put me in touch with the founder, and, you know, that over the course of a year, our relationship grew. Uh, but it happened because I went to my network and said, you know, I need, some, I need something here. Right, so you put it out, you put it out, yeah. there, and it came back to you. And that's, that's not easy often because it, it can feel vulnerable. It is vulnerable. That's for me. It's like, and that's probably what's helped me with a lot of founders and entrepreneurs too. Is that you know you get what you get. Like I'm, I'm just this is what I got, and I'm not. I got a thick skin, and you can tell me I'm an idiot, and I'm fine with that, and maybe I am. And so you know, to be able to, you need that as an entrepreneur too, like, right? Uh, because like you said, it's scary and you fail. So um, that probably served me well to find that, find that home because I was willing to kind of.